If we don't have the power over there, it's gonna be a problem. But check this out. Those diodes are way down there. We have that injector fault. Yes. That should not say yes. So if I go over here, right just over here, I'm just touching this. You can hear the relay click. But if I hold it, no fault. What is going on everybody? Brian Mann here, hands-on auto training. Happy February everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, saw this vehicle yesterday on, what was that, the 3rd of February 2025. This vehicle had many issues going on. A lot of uh, wiring that was damaged or corroded that the shop had replaced and they still ended up with a intermittent stalling issue. The technicians had mentioned that the fuel pump uh, was turning off but I think what was going on was this re, uh, diode had a bad connection in the fuse block causing all the issues. So uh, this is an example of using scan data to help you determine what's going on quickly. When I saw that injector fault code, I do have some previous experience with some of these issues. I, wanted, I knew I wanted to be uh, basically making sure that I wasn't losing power to the fuel injectors because that will cause a bunch of injector fault codes. What the interesting thing is here is that I didn't have any injector codes on my pre-scan. I don't have the report to show you or a screenshot, but I had no PCM codes besides a P0420 as a permanent code in this vehicle. So I didn't have any issues like that to go on. I wasn't having a diagnostic direction because of DTCs, my diagnostic direction became or, or resulted from looking at the scan tool data and that injector fault was a great thing. So this, like I said, this vehicle had tons of problems. Here's some more footage of kind of just uh, poking around showing you how, how I looked at the diagrams. Uh, of course, after the fact, I couldn't hold the camera and do it at the same time. If you guys like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know what to do. And also be sure to check out the hands-on auto training courses. If you want to learn more about basic electricity, I have some great stuff up there. I love basic electricity. I'm messing around with other projects. This is what I do for fun. Maybe I'm a nerd. I don't know. Well, you guys let me know what you think. Talk to you later. I got a uh, Ford, what is this thing? I forget what year. I think it's 2014. Oh, 2015 E450 van. This is a good size van here. Uh, the fuel pump's not operating. We go ahead and crank it up. Uh, we have no fuel pump operation. Somebody told me if they jump for the relay, which I think is the fifth one over here, it will go ahead and start and run. But uh, it doesn't uh, allow me to command it on. But if you go into data pids on Fords, take a look here. Look at this. Injector fault, yes. That's a problem. Now, the injectors get the same power as the uh, fuel pump. So if we take a look here, let me see if I can find the picture for you. Here's our fuel pump relay. But this goes over to our... Uh, PCM and also over to other engine controls injectors and stuff like that. So if this isn't turning on We're gonna have an issue check this out. This is using all data here. Uh, we do have This fuel pump diode, okay that goes and powers up that other diagram This goes to B if you see here they got the hyperlink for the diagram if we go to this one This is where this gets the primary side hot we don't have the power over there it's going to be a problem but check this out those diodes are way down there and let's go back to our data list first of all i'm going to show you here we have that injector fault yes that should not say yes so if i go over here right just over here i'm just touching this you can hear the relay click but if i hold it no fault let me see if I can get it in the right spot so it says fault. But that's the problem right there. It does have a little bit of corrosion here. It's not looking too good. Okay, so I did put a ever so slight of a tweak in that. Maybe you can see it on camera, maybe you can't. Just a little tweak, so we do have an injector fault. Yes, let's go ahead and pop this thing back in there. See if something changes. And... Injector fault, yes, let's see, no. So let's go ahead and see if this thing cranks. I didn't even try to crank on it before. I thought we were going after another issue uh, when I got here, but. There we go. All right, just so you guys know, we did replace that fuel pump dial with a brand new unit. It was actually uh, an intermittent connection inside of it, like it was corroded inside the diode itself. So we got the customer a new one, 
and that was uh, taking care of that problem. This vehicle had some other issues. The fuel pump control module was internally shorted sometimes, popping a 20 amp fuse, and that was a, a whole nother issue. Kind of odd stuff, a lot of compounding problems here. So always be sure to take a look at scan data whenever you're doing any diagnostics. It can kind of give you a lot of information quickly, and you don't have to tear stuff apart and get all dirty, right? That's what I'm all about. You guys uh, have a great day. Once again, if you like this content, do like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we will see you next time.